Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Sagittarius. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. All of your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you are thinking about and someone who is thinking about you. I'm recording this message for the energies of June, but I ask these readings to be timeless and give you something you need to hear when you need to hear it. For your cards, Sagittarius, I'll be using the Mystical Manga by Ryan and Barbara Moore. For your person, the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshitaka Amano. And if clarifiers are needed, the Manga Tarot by Selena Lin. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to get your cards first, Sagittarius, and then the cards for the person that you are connected to or who is coming towards you. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is the heart of the matter for Sagittarius? What are some things going on in their daily life? Could be affecting the connection. What is happening in their heart space? How do they feel? How do they feel about their person? What intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future? Wow whenever you are meant to hear this message. Okay, let's get your person's cards. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter for the person connected to or coming towards Sagittarius? What is the heart of the matter? What is the heart of the matter? What are they thinking overall about this connection right now? What are some things going on in the daily life? Could be affecting this connection. What is happen <clears throat> what is happening in their heart space? How do they feel? How do they feel about you? How do they feel? Whoa. Wow had two of them jump out. I had to pick them up off the floor like they really jumped. Okay. What intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is the potential outcome? <laughs> Their cards are so jumpy, they keep all trying to go sideways on me. Okay, what is the potential outcome? Spirit, what is the potential outcome in the near future whenever... You are meant to hear this message. One more. One more. One more. So you give us one more card. Wow. Okay. Interesting that we have the seven of the cups in the bottom of the deck, and it's kind of showing up here in your energy too. There could be a little confusion or a little miscommunication going on between the two of you. Could be a lot of distractions, a lot of maybe people around you or different things you're thinking about, looking at, that are kind of, um, I don't know, just causing a little distraction, a little confusion. But I will tell you the energy shifts here in a big way. So, your potential outcome cards are phenomenal, so just hang in here as we go through, um, go through these energies, and you can see how things are shifting for you. And this, I mean, June looks like it could be very, very good for love. Heart of the matter for you, we have the hermit here. Virgo energy could be strong in your chart or the chart of your person, but you could be taking a little time to go within, sort some things out, thinking very deeply. Some of you could be the kind of person, like this is a really deeply spiritual card that people talk to, you know, tell things to. You have like a wisdom and understanding about you. People like to talk to you. And sometimes you do need to just... Um, just get away from it all and get centered. And I feel like you may be showing up for a lot of people in a lot of ways, but also maybe knowing you need to take a little time to nurture yourself and take care of yourself because this hermit can go up on a mountain, can take a little time out. Let's get a clarifier. Let me see what that one's about. Because interesting, I see you talking to people and people like coming towards you, but I also see you taking a little time 
for yourself. And it is how you're feeling about this connection. So you could have pulled back a little, wow, to look at something, but you've got a page of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Even if there is a quiet energy, even if you're thinking deeply about what to do, um, how you feel about this person, how they feel about you, you've got a page of cups here. This is vulnerability, love, an open heart. It's a gentle energy. It's an intuitive energy. It can be flirtatious messages and it can be starting something. So if some of you have kind of gone up on a mountain to like sort some things out in a sense, obviously metaphorical. I mean, some people go right up on a mountain. My, <laughs> my kid just climbed a mountain last week. So <laughs> that, um, but um, but if some of you gone within to kind of sort some things out, I do feel like you are getting clear in that process about how you feel because your heart is going towards someone. Um, your person, and we'll get a clarifier on this, has the devil energy and what they're thinking over all about the connection. Capricorn energy could be significant, strong in your chart or theirs could be dealing with the Capricorn um, or Capricorn season end of December, January could be significant for some. I get the energy and we'll pull clarifier to see what this is all about. But for me, it's almost like obsessing. The devil card in this deck, and I love it. It's different from the traditional one. It's like seems to be thinking very hard about something, someone. It feels like there's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of interest. I do have to say, Sagittarius, if you have taken a little time to be on your own and gotten a little quiet, this person could be obsessing. They could be overthinking about what's going on with you. Where Sagittarius? How are they feeling? Their doubts, their fears could be getting the best of them. For some of you, you could have pulled away from a situation because there were some issues around it that maybe weren't right for you. Like some of you could have pulled away from a toxic situation. Um, obviously, it's not going to be everyone. I'm really getting like more of like an obsessing energy, like somebody who can't stop thinking about you. But let's see what this devil of energy is all about. Spirit, why do we have the devil of here for the heart of the matter for this person. Oh my goodness. Okay. We have a three of cups energy and an ace of wands. Few different things because I'm connecting with so many different people. For some of you, there could be some sort of challenge, some sort of difficulty um, with like a third party or something like that, or somebody feeling like you only want to be friends. Um, and I'm really getting, because the other card is the Ace of Wands, that somebody who might be, it might be a friend, might be more casual, or may have just gotten interested in you for like reasons like the Three of Cups can be very light, you know, very playful, not thinking very seriously about it, suddenly is thinking very seriously about you. But there could be fears or worries that there's somebody else in the picture. Like, I feel like if you got quiet, this person could be obsessing like, oh my gosh, are they thinking about somebody else? Like that kind of energy. But with the Ace of Wands, it's all connected to the fact, fact that they're very attractive to you, very interested, wanting to start something up. Scorpio, um, sorry, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces for this Three of Cups, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius for the Ace of Wands. Could be a friend who's thinking about you in ways that you don't even realize, like wanting to start something up, very attracted to you, very drawn to you. Could be a situation where this person isn't sure that you feel for them what they feel for you and could be worried about some competition. But I do feel like they're definitely going to be speaking up and making a move with that Ace of Wands. In your daily life, we've got the Four of Cups and the Seven of Cups. And I saw the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck for your person as well. There's a little confusion here. Like if somebody like has a lot of people like following them on social media, then the other person could be like, oh, are they interested in these people? And that does not have to be the case. I mean, I I network with a lot of different, you know, artists and people on my social media. I talk to a lot of people, um, but there is only, you know, my person in my heart. And I get that sense, almost like there could be a lot of people around someone and there's a lot of confusion around that. With this Four of Cups energy, um, there definitely could be a situation where maybe you have gotten like an offer or opportunity and you kind of passed on that because you've been a little confused about this person and what you're feeling about them. Or you could just be so discouraged about some things that have gone wrong between you or somewhere in your life 
that four of cups um, and kind of confused here that you're not seeing that there is an opportunity. But let's go ahead and get a clarifier on this one too. Let's see what that's about. Because I get the sense that maybe you don't know like how interested this person is. Because when you see what's going on in their daily life card, it gets real clear in their potential outcome. Like very clear how this person is feeling about you. Spirit, why do we have the Four of Cups and the Seven of Cups for Sagittarius? Wow, Nine of Pentacles. I mean, honestly, we've got the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. You could have some hurt or pain in your life, maybe in this situation, maybe in, you know, in your past, whatever it is. But whatever the case is, I feel like you're not interested in being hurt again. You're not interested in being played. You're not interested in, you know, getting in a situation that it is going to be painful. You could have even passed on something because you weren't really sure about the person's intentions. And honestly, you've got to trust your intuition because the seven of cups and four of cups is being clarified by the nine of pentacles here. Virgo energy could be significant. That three of swords could be having some uh, Libra, strong your chart your persons. But the nine of pentacles is somebody who is kind of fine in their own way. Somebody who's taking some time to do their own thing. Somebody who's getting stable on their own. And I feel like there have been some things that have happened to you. Maybe some situations that have been disappointing. Maybe some situations that haven't been good for you that you've had to separate yourself from, even if it's been difficult. But you're finding your way. You're finding your footing. You're getting clear in who you are, what is meaningful to you. And it is showing because you've got a person here showing up with the daily life with the Empress energy. Taurus, Libra energy could be significant here, but this is the energy of somebody very drawn to you, attracted to you, feeling like there's so many possibilities here, feeling like you're, you know, beautiful, interesting, um, and that you could potentially be the one. For me, in a love reading, Emperor, Empress energy is the energy of the one. It's that person that you meet and suddenly you get why nothing else worked out. It's because you were still meant to meet this person, and this person is having those kind of feelings for you very clear like this could be it this could be the one and I feel like that could be why they're maybe obsessing overthinking especially if you've taken some time to yourself but let me tell you trust your intuition if something feels doesn't feel right to you, then step away from it. Your heart, your intuition, like the way something makes you feel is your guidance from divine. If somebody makes you feel bad every time you talk to them, sometimes it's best to, to pretty much any time to take a step back from that because that is your in, your source, your higher self saying, this isn't right. The way this person's talking to me and treating me doesn't feel right. And sometimes you need to just take a step back, get in your own energy, and then connect with someone who recognizes you for who you are, rep recognizes what you mean to them. Sorry, just grabbing a sip of water and working my way through personals today. So before I got here, throat is a little dry, but in your heart space, you have the Knight of Wands. Leo energy could be significant. I have to tell you, even though you've got this energy of taking some time for yourself, sorting things out, getting very clear, healthy boundaries, which I absolutely love because that's how we set the standard for what comes towards us. You do have a page of cups and a nine, a knight of wands. There is, and you have a nine of wands too, but we'll talk about that in a minute. There is interest. There is attraction. There is somebody on your mind. I mean, with a knight of wands, that can be a, that can be like some real attraction, wanting to take action, wanting to do something. I mean, some of you could have pulled away from a difficult situation. It could actually be taking initiative towards something that feels much more positive. And some of you could be pulling back so that you can get sorted out about how you feel and get really clear of some things on your own and set some healthy boundaries and then step forward from a really positive place. Your person in their heart space has a six of wands and queen of cups. More Leo energy here. Cancer energy could be significant. The queen, the um, six of wands is somebody returning after a battle, after a difficulty, after a challenge. Now, when I say return, that does not mean a past person. I never talk about a past person. I will tell you that. I talk about the person that is in your heart, on your mind. That can be somebody that you do have a connection with. That can be somebody you have history with. That can be somebody 
that you've never met in your life, but your soul has history with. Because it's like when you're meant to meet somebody, your soul recognizes them before you even meet. It can be somebody, you know, that you're having a new beginning with. And when I talk about the return, that is just somebody overcoming their own conflict, their own difficulty, and showing up towards the person that feels like home, towards a person that feels like the one. For some of you, yes, maybe there was a difficulty. Maybe there was a conflict. Maybe you or them spoke up and the two of you want to talk it out. For some of you, that is the situation here. Um, but for some of you, this is somebody wanting to show up, wanting to be successful, wanting to have a chance with you, wanting to take you out, wanting you to see them as really attractive and really interesting with that six of wands. But it's because of the Queen of Cups here. The Queen of Cups is an energy of love. Intuitive, it's psychic, it's deep, it's open-hearted. It is a beautiful energy. It's one of the most powerful love cards in the tarot of somebody who no matter what happened between the two of you, just keeps falling harder and harder and just can't deny the way they feel. This is like an open heart. This is somebody who is feeling very deeply. It's a lot of intuitive energy. It's a lot of psychic energy. Um, sometimes it's not somebody coming right out and saying exactly what they feel but with that six of wands I do feel like somebody could be coming forward in a big way in your intentions you've got the nine of wands I love this because I do feel like some of you that I'm connecting to are setting some healthy boundaries and it's good for you like it really is um and making some important choices for yourself, what you focus on. With the Nine of Wands, this is Sagittarius energy, but I really love this energy because the traditional Nine of Wands, it is that wounded warrior. It is that person that has been through it. They're jaded, they're worn out, they're exhausted, but they've got a little further to go. So they take, you know, they kind of put the difficulties behind them. They take the Ace of Wands, they take a stand. In this card, this is somebody who it's like they've taken their challenges, they've taken their difficulty, and they've use those as ignition fire to to just fight for the life that they truly want it's like you're not just putting the difficulties in the past you are rising above them and you're taking a stand but I feel like you're only going to take a stand for something that feels right something you're excited about something you're passionate about your person and this card flew out as as did the queen of cups and the six of wands which is definitely somebody showing up with a lot of feelings here um their intentions is the five of cups. This card is actually much more positive in the reverse because in the traditional five of cups upright, this is somebody that's so focused on what's gone wrong, so focused on what hasn't worked out, so focused on their disappointments and difficulties. They can't even see the two of cups, the potential of the two of cups, which is still standing behind them, the potential of the connection, potential of the relationship, the potential of loving someone who loves you in return. With the five of cups in reverse, this is somebody who's chosen to look away from all that, to stop focusing on the disappointments, the failures, the challenges, the difficulties, and look at what is still standing. Look at what they're still hoping for. And that, I feel like, is where everything begins to shift because this is where your cards get really good. And, um, and it's so interesting to me because the potential outcome cards for me are the cards like that really show um, where everything is headed. And for me, I feel like whatever you have decided, whatever choices you made, whatever you separated yourself from, whatever healthy boundaries you created, whatever you're taking a stand for, it is working for you, Sagittarius, because look at what you have coming towards you. Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, Page of Coins. Pisces energy, Sagittarius, that is your energy there. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could all be significant. And Scorpio with that Five of Cups in reverse. Could be strong in your chart or your persons, but look what is coming towards you. The Ten of Cups is a happy, loving, lasting, balanced connection. Two people that get each other, two people that support each other. They have a friendship and they have a love. They make sense to one another and they really can't get enough of each other. With the Eight of Wands, it's like somebody coming forward with this Ten of Cups message, like this is how I feel about you, this is what I want. The Eight of Wands, it's messages, it's communications, it can even be travel, like somebody traveling towards you, you traveling towards them, or you know, um, 
talking, communicating, everything comes out in the open. You talk all night, you know, someone takes a step towards you and everything just begins to move and fall into place and make sense. And with the page of coins, it is a stable offer. It is a positive offer. It is someone showing up and showing up in a real way. And it's interesting to me too, because it's like this page of cups, like this person that you have this warm, like flirtatious, loving energy towards you. I feel like like um, comes towards you or responds in a way that's like yeah I feel it too let's get together let's see each other pentacles are all about bringing things into the physical like really manifesting things making something happen and your person their potential outcome all major arcana here so this is very this feels like a very significant connection has the temperance card the wheel of fortune and the lovers Temperance, that is your energy, Sagittarius. And Wheel of Fortune, for me as a reader, I also get a lot of Sagittarius. Like, this is someone who, to me, it's like it's got to be Sagittarius or nobody. Like, this is it. That's the only way it's going to be because of the lovers. Gemini energy could be significant. We are in Gemini season right now. So right now here in June, there could be a big shift. For me, it feels like this person has been thinking about you, focusing on you because they feel like you could absolutely be the one. With the Sagittarius or the Temperance energy here, for me, this is the Two of Cups in the Hands of Divine. Two people have been guided together, drawn together, met to meet. This can be divine timing, but for me, divine timing is not us waiting on divine. It's divine that is waiting on us to realize what the universe has been trying to give us all along, open up and receive it. That is what div divine timing is. It's when we align with that divine energy and that two of cups, this person is realizing is still standing regardless of everything else and the potential of things between the two of you is in the hands of divine. And then we have a wheel of fortune, which is the universe spinning the wheel, making things happen. Once again, with the eight of wands and the wheel of fortune here, travel forward movement and, um, or conversations, um, things getting really exciting, talking all night, being like, let's do that, let's do this. Then the Wheel of Fortune here with the lover's energy. When somebody has the Empress and the lovers showing up in their cards, it's definitely somebody who is having some feelings like you could absolutely be the one there. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune and the lovers, I definitely feel like something is shifting. And um, I feel like this person is opening up in a way maybe they've never opened up before, coming forward and telling you that they feel like you could be the one and the only one. Here's a beautiful message, Sagittarius. I love it for you. I do hope that something in this message spoke to you. If you'd like it, I, I'd love you put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. If something spoke to you and you'd like a personal reading, my website is charitygenice.com. I have a bunch of different options there. I'd love to hear from you all. I love reading your comments and hearing who this resonates for. And it really encourages me. So I really love hearing from you all. I thank you so much. And I hope you have a good rest of June. And I will be bringing the bonus readings out very soon. Thank you so much.